Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we're jumping in to Acts 24. This is, uh, this is the high plot time of Acts. Paul is taken in before the high priest. He's taken in and he is put on trial a little bit. This is a big deal because the Jewish leaders wouldn't have had access to the high priest except for in really elevated conflicts. So the fact that the high priest comes in to handle this conflict is a big deal. So the Jewish people bring in Felix, the high priest. They bring him in and they say, this Paul guy is stirring the pot. We don't like him and we need him to be stopped. It's part of this big plot to have Paul executed. And so they come in and they hear, they hear the Jewish people and then Felix hears from Paul. And Paul says this in a very Pauline way. He says, I cheerfully make my defense knowing that for many years you have been a judge over this nation. As you can find out, it is not more than 12 days since I went up to worship in Jerusalem. They did not find me disputing with anyone in the temple, which is one of the things he was accused of doing. Neither can they prove to you the charge that they now bring against me. But this I admit to you that according to the way, which is, of course, Christianity, which they call a sect, I worship the God of our ancestors, believing everything laid down according to the law or written in the prophets. He's affirming that the Jewish way of life is something he believes in. I have hope in a God. I have hope that they themselves also accept that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous. Therefore, I do my best always to have a clear conscience towards God and all people. So he comes in with a lot of grace for these people that have put him on trial. And he says that there is no proof that I've done anything wrong. And in the end of his little monologue here, he says that essentially it is about the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial before you today. He's saying that all of the things that the Jewish leaders believed in, he also believed in. The thing that they were halting him on is the resurrection of Jesus, which we, of course, know as a very pivotal and important and essential part of our Christian understanding. And so Paul says, that is why I'm on trial. So Paul is held in custody and Felix even comes later and wants a bribe from Paul to be released since Felix ends up thinking that this is no large matter. And of course, Paul doesn't have really money to share with Felix and also would not take a bribe. And so then Paul is put on house arrest until the next high priest replaces Felix. Really interesting story. Today I'm going to leave you with a couple of questions. Here we find Paul who is really misunderstood by the Jewish leaders of his time and in the cities that he was proclaiming the gospel to. So what's a time where you have felt misunderstood? And how can we channel God's grace when we encounter misunderstandings? Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.